Welcome back again guys, uh, well here she is, pretty much all together now. I had it at this stage last, uh, probably middle of this week, but I uh, ran into a big sort of hiccup and I had to pull it all back apart again. What happened was the, uh, the ball nut on the Y axis had a full complement of balls but didn't, they weren't the right size. Uh, so it's a bit of a poor effort by CNC Fusion, but I don't want to tarnish their name. They did sort of fix me up, um, it's going to refund me for the Axis and in the meantime I've had one uh, manufactured to the same specs at Linear Technic in Dandenong in Melbourne. One of the guys, Tim there, really helped me out. Um, he's doing something similar so I guess we're on the same plane there. But um, sort of just uh, just finished tramming it with that tramming tool that I bought for my router funnily enough, uh, which is major overkill but it's coming out a lot of a lot of use on this mill, like it's super easy to tram it up and get it all nice and square. And I've adjusted the gibbs so they're all nice and snug. Um, yeah, it's, it's sounding pretty good. I, I think maybe a little bit more motor tuning is possibly required. I'm not too happy with, there's like a certain range where it vibrates, which I'll show you. Um, so, yeah, still a little bit more to do, but I'm, I'm quite nervous because tomorrow I'm going to do my first test cut, so wish me luck. Um, I'll report back on my findings and hopefully it's a success. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm pretty happy with it as well. I think it looks pretty neat and uh, I'm just really looking forward to making some stuff now. I've got some cool new toys as well, which I'll show you after. Uh, I'll show you my dodgy wiring setup. <laughs> okay, let's move on to that. Okay, here's my temporary uh, wiring job for all the control system, just my power supply, the drivers and the breakout board up the back there on my router because <laughs> I'm running out of room. Um, I haven't really got around to what I'm going to do with this yet. I need to sort of, ideally I want to make a box and make all the inputs and outputs and switch holes and all that stuff, maybe route it and then to weld it up on the router but I just need a bit of spare time to get stuck into that so this is this would just have to do for the moment. I do still have to wire in my hard limits. So I've got these little switches here. Um, I might look at something else I can use, maybe something with a longer lever on it. Uh, I had a quick look at how they would fit on the mill, but it might be more trouble than it's worth with these little ones. I've also got my inductive proximity switches for homing as well to go on there. And a 24 volt solenoid for the fog buster air as well to drive that so I can switch that on and off through Mac 3. But yeah, everything's working well. Um, I'm running these 5056D drivers at uh, 2.3 amps RMS. And oh, what resolution am I running? 8000. I'm running 8,000 pulses per hour. I forgot about that, and I only just set that up tonight. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I got a slitting saw as well in my pocket for slitting stuff. Uh, I got another uh, a one-inch arbor coming from Tormac. A few more collets, and I also got another cool toy here. I'll show you this uh, Tormac pendants because I uh, I really hated that Chinese one that I got. So I just. I couldn't live with the fact that I had to use that piece of crap, so I just bought a Tormac one after seeing them use it in their videos and it's freaking awesome. So I'll just jog the axes now so you can sort of see what it sounds like and um, if you guys know anything about motor tuning, maybe you can give me some tips as well, that'd be awesome. All right. I'll just jog that out of the way. Well, it's pretty smooth, but uh, there is a resonance area I found, and I did do the auto tuning or uh, switching um, the dip switch number four on the drivers, but it didn't seem to really do anything. That was pretty good. Mostly the Z that makes a lot of noise, but I'm really happy with that. Seem to really get some limits on it, so I don't crash it. So, yeah. Anyway. I shall report back tomorrow after I make some chips. Stay tuned. <laughs>